So I think to really build a practice that is helpful for someone, you need attention and intention. And when we come to do an awareness for movement um, lesson or exercise, that is very present, right? We really have to pay attention. It is small. It is about taking our time, not just to go slowly, but to really sense, to be aware, to be present in what is going on at this moment in our life. The practice of handwriting has that quality. So you are intentional. You come to your paper with your pen because you want to write a letter. I typically don't have anything prepared when I write my letters. Um, I have a like a method that gets me into my writing space and, and we can uh, do a little exercise about that later. But I don't think about it. Like I don't plan it. I'm not thinking, oh, this month in my letter, I'm going to write about this and this and this. Um, so I really want to be in the moment and I let the inspiration just come. And um, it's a process of trust as well. Um, so making, you know, making the time and really getting into yourself. The, the big commonality for me with the Felon Christ method is to be in touch with ourselves on both physical and emotional level and to, to find a self-expression, um, a way of express ourselves that is authentic. And I think that is also the big difference, I would say, that I see and, and feel and experience uh, with the more digital um, ways of communication that we all use every day. So that self-expression coming from a very authentic part of who we are, in my experience, can only happen when we take the time, when we pay attention, and where we are intentional in in this um, in this movement, because it is movement. When you write a letter, you have the movement of your hand on the paper, the, the sound that it can make. It's a very sensory experience and um, the flow of the words. And that really translates into your thinking and your emotion. And when you create that space for, for writing a letter, and it can be to somebody specific or to nobody in particular. Um, when you make that space and you get so connected to yourself, you really, like the, the words and the images flow on your paper. So it's a movement of imagination and inspiration for me. Mm -hmm.